Welcome to another video. I am Nick Starship. Today we are doing the fourth Kuvalich in our arsenal, which is Os Rarer. <laughs> uh, so I found out that Trinity actually works on the Kuvalich, so. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just bring Trinity from now on when we're doing these. I am bringing like a basic Eidolon build, you know. This is the first uh, Kuvalich that I am doing on the uh, the new patch in terms of my own. Uh, hopefully he does spawn in this mission. If not, then we'll run a few more in this video. Um, we have all of the known configurations this time they are easier to get uh and i did get lucky with the third one being one that i do have as well uh if you didn't know recreate mods are also easier to get with this upcoming uh, uh update that just released so if you thought the grind was too hard understand that it is going to be a lot easier uh for for the casual players now, especially for the veterans. It looks like we will get him to spawn in this mission, and our goal will basically be to kill him with our energy vampire. I guess I'm not on a plus build like I thought I was, so uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we fuck him up real good. Alright, looks like that he glitched out or something. With the an I guess we're animation canceling? Which is, which is okay, I have no problem with that. I have no problem with the animation canceling. Okay, I guess we're we're doing it like that. That was uh, pretty quick. Uh, and he's phased into a part of the land, you know. Warframe has no bugs. And we didn't even, our Parazon didn't even come out for some reason. Okay. Um, oh, it looks like we RKO'd him. RKO. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Alright, so that was basically the Kuvalich. And apparently his face didn't even spawn there either. There's a lot of bugs. Okay, so if you are... If you are one of those people who have school and you can't play the update, don't, do not worry at all. Not one bit. Uh, you are not missing a single thing. Okay. Everything that you're missing is a grind so if if grinding is too too much for you you know don't worry about it okay you can always buy the parazon mods from players who have already grinded um the kuva weapons are untradeable uh i think i brought the wrong build for this kuva ogress i think i was testing the nightwatch napalm uh, at the time that I'm making this video, Nightwatch, uh, Nightwatch Maypalm currently does not work with the Kuva Ogress. I believe I have it equipped, and I just killed myself. Uh, ragdolls are working. We know that. <laughs> if you can see there. I feel like they turned the Ragdolls on the Kuva Ogress to, like, a 20. Okay, instead of a 10. Really interesting. I am in Discord, so I need to leave that real quick, my bad. Uh, so this mission will be a quick mission. This is going to be a shorter video than the last Kuvaliches because apparently the animations weren't there and he came a lot sooner than I thought he was going to, which is, which is good. You know, I, I'm pretty sure that you guys really don't want to see the uh, the actual grind of the, uh, the Parazon Maws and stuff like that. Who gives a shit, you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've watched a bunch of other people who have done that, you know, the streamers and all that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to get you the Kuva Lich experience, okay? Because that's, that's what you guys want to see. Alright, so we will be able to get a, uh, a twin stubba. Uh, I accidentally brought Revenant for, for that one. You know, if you watch me bring Revenant for the other, um, for my other videos, uh, during the actual stage fight. Uh, well, that's basically the exact same thing. So, um, I accidentally brought Revenant during the Kuva Larveling when I meant to bring, like, uh, Octavia or Equinox because I want radiation. So now my twin Stubba is going to have cold on it. 
So it'll probably be one of those weapons that I uh, that I don't really want to buy forma right away. Like I'm gonna five form the ogress, and I'll have the twin sub on. But I guess what I can do is I can do that conversion system that they were talking about in the hotfix, which I'll in this video I'll include the um, the hotfix notes so you guys can watch it. Um, I might make another video on the po uh, the hotfix notes, but there's probably gonna be plenty of them this week to where um, we ne don't necessarily need them. As I've already uh, linked the patch to the old blood in the previous videos. So this is basically a mobile defense mission that converts into another mobile defense mission. Um, this is cl this is classic Warframe. Uh, if you don't know, the like the mobile defense on this planet it has a pattern to do this. And starting off as a newer player, I remember back in the day. This was a hard mission. Like I, I kind of struggled, but but now it, I I can just like get by no problem. Those were level. That's a level sixty knocks. You know, with the cash moon being nerfed to an extent, the most part of the nerf is the fact that its its range is nerfed, and the, you know it's been the ribbons have been nerfed like crazy. I switched to the rattle guts, so I, I kind of like the rattle guts. It was fine. Not a lot of people use it, use it as much as the other weapons. I liked it. So I don't really have a problem with switching my secondary. You know what happens is with power creep. You know, if you nerf something, there's always another one. Just use the catch moon, turn it into. You know, just use something else. You know, all the all the all the melee weapons are messed up for right now. Um, there's a lot of changes that need to happen. We need to make sure we keep this defense point alive because if I fail, this, I'll be upset. Uh, but we're fine, basically. But um, like, all the melee weapons are kind of in limbo about like what's the meta, blah blah blah. Like Re Redeemer Prime, no questions with condition overload was like really dang. It. Um, but. I don't know. Maybe, maybe pole arms are coming back. Speed is king. Who knows? All right, here we go. And then after this, we will wrap it up. Look at this twin stubba together real quick. You know, it's gonna be garbage because I got cold on it. Let's see what we recover. Trash, 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 trash. I really only got him up to like level three. Like that's how fast this was. I would say maybe two or three hours of farming at most for everything. Um. The Requiem mods coming with the Thralls is definitely going to be helping out newer players. I maybe got like four or five during the uh, the farming time. So that's uh, Osrur Vanquish. Theoretically, if they patched the game correctly, we shouldn't ever see him again. Um, unless we look at him in the Codex. So let's go ahead and uh, take a gander. This is where you can see the Kuvalich kills. So the previous videos are all there. And the last kill is always going to be the one on the right. The one on the left will always be the one that you did before. So here we are. Here he is. I think he looks cool with a Revenant head. Uh, too bad he does cold damage. I mean, I guess it could be kind of trolly with cold damage. But it could be like a fun build, if that makes sense. Until we get, um, I, I like radiation. So, twin stubba. What are we at? Stubba? Oh, we, we have to claim it from the foundry. Oh my god. Don't forget. This is not what I want. Here we go. Alright, now we can get it. Let's go ahead and equip this weapon. And right off the bat, as we can see... It has 31 status, pretty good accuracy, crit rate 23, crit multiplier 1.9, yikes, but the magazine capacity is 114, so all that is staying the same, and we're getting cold damage, which is a good portion of the actual damage, and we go ahead and buy a catalyst, I should probably craft some, um, What's the crit damage with this? Let's see. Prime target cracker. It's a 4.0. Okay. Crit multiplier with the prime pistol gambit, 66. 
they keep this in mind. Um, so, if you're looking for a crit build, you're probably better off with a status build. Remember that multi-shot matters on status. So, it looks like you're going to have to have a four... Yep, you're going to have to have a four dual status build. Or get a ribbon. Alright, so that was the Kuvalich fight uh, with Nick Starship, the fourth one. I will see you in the next video. See you later. Like, comment, subscribe.